this is a kalpana in this video we are going to do problems on reduction reduction formula okay so to use this formula directly we have to observe the limits if you have limit 0 from 0 to pi by 2 you can apply this formula directly or else if you have limits like 2 pi pi by 6 then you will change the limits and solve the problem okay so for sine and cos you have two formulas one for n is odd and one for n is even when n is odd you will include one when n is even you will include pi by two remaining you will follow this formula okay 2 by 3 and 1 by 2 it gets automatically while substituting. Okay, you will come to know while doing the problems. So let's start with the problems. So first one. Evaluate. Integral 0 to 2 pi into integrand sine power n of x by 4 into dx. Solution. Since you are having power 9 here, so let i n equals to i9 I equals to integral 0 to 2 pi. Sine power 9 of x by 4 into dx. Okay. So now we use substitution method. Substitution method. Let. Again. Put. x by 4 equals to t. If you differentiate on both sides, you'll get 1 by 4 into dx equals to dt. Then you'll get dx equals to 4 dt. Okay. Now, we have to change the limits, right? So, when When x equals to 0, what will be your t? Since t equals to x by 4, then t equals to 0 by 4. 0 by anything is 0. When x is 2 pi, then t equals to x by 4. Replace x with 2 pi. 2 pi by 4. So this equals to pi by 2. Okay. So now this becomes integral when x equals to 0, t equals to 0. When x equals to 2 pi, t equals to pi by 2 into sine per n. That is 9 of x. So we have replaced x by 4 with t. And dx with 4 into dt. Since 4 is constant, so you can take it outside the integral. So this becomes 4 into integral 0 to pi by 2 sine per 9 of t into dt. Okay. So, if you notice, if you observe clearly, we have changed the limits 0 to 2 pi as 0 to pi by 2. So, this is what we need to use the formula to apply the reduction formula, right? So, now we are going to apply the reduction formula. So 
to same class. I9 equals to 4 into integral 0 to pi by 2 sine power 9 of t dt. So, you are having formula. Since integral 0 to pi by 2 sine power n of x dx is equals to since you are having n equals to 9, 9 is odd. So, you will consider the first formula. Okay. So, this is equals to This is equals to 4 into nine minus one by nine into nine minus three by nine minus two into nine minus five by nine minus four into nine minus seven by nine minus six. So, this is all. So, you will include 1. Okay. Now, if you include the other term, the next term, that is 9 minus 9 by 9 minus 8, this becomes 0, which is not valid. Okay. So, we will not include this. We will stop it up to here. We will stop it here. So, this equals to 4 into... 9 minus 1, 8. 8 by 9 into 9 minus 3, 6 by 9 minus 2, 7 into now minus 6 minus 2 is 4, 7 minus 2 is 5 into 4 minus 2 is 2, 5 minus 2 is 3. You will just subtract with odd numbers in the numerator and you will subtract even numbers to 9 in the denominator. Okay. Here you are subtracting odd numbers to 9 and here you are subtracting even numbers to 9. That's it. So this equals to 4 into 3 ones are 3 twos are 5. A two is a sixteen into four two is a eight divided by nine into seven into five that is nine into thirty five sum by is thirty five so this equals to sixteen into eight four is a thirty two two six is a twelve two one is a two plus one three three two is a six sorry three six is a eighteen 3 1s are 3, 4. So finally you get 2, 512 in the numerator. In the denominator, 35 into 9, 9 pi is 45. 9 3 is 27, 27 plus 4. So finally, the answer is 512 by 315. So therefore, I9 equals to 512 by 315. Okay, so we have solved the first problem. So next coming to the second problem. Evaluate. Integral 0 to pi by 6, cos power 7, 3x into dx. Okay. Solution. Let i7 equals to integral 0 to 
pi by 6 cos power 7 3x into dx. Since you are having 7 power 7, so I have named it as the integral. I have named the integral as i7. So this equals to, now what we are going to do is, you are going to use substitution method that is, we will take, I put t equals to 3x. If you differentiate on both sides, you will get dt equals to 3 into dx. Then 1 by 3 into dt equals to dx. Okay. Now, again, we need to change the limits, right? So, when x, then t. When x equals to 0, then t equals to 3 into 0. 3 into 0 is 0. When x equals to pi by 6, then t equals to 3 into pi by 6. So, you will get 3 ones are 3 twos are pi by 2. Okay. So, when x equals to 0, t equals to 0. When x equals to pi by 6, t equals to pi by 2. So, now this becomes integral when x equals to 0, t equals to 0. When x equals to pi by 6, t equals to pi by 2 into cos power 7. You can replace 3x with t into. Now, replace dx with 1 by 3 into dt. Okay. Since this 1 by 3 is a constant, so you can take it outside the integral. So, this equals to 1 by 3 into integral 0 to pi by 2 cos power 7 of t into dt. Okay. So, we have changed the limits which are in 0 to pi by 6. So, now we can use the reduction formula directly since... Integral 0 to pi by 2 cos power nx dx equals to. Okay. If you compare this with the actual formula, you have n equals to 7, which is odd. Okay. If n is odd, then you will use the first formula. In the first formula, you are having 7 minus 1 by 7 into 7 minus 3 by 7 minus 2 into 7 minus 5 by 7 minus 4. Simply, we are subtracting odd numbers to 7 in the numerator. And you are subtracting even numbers to 7 in the denominator. Okay. So, next term you will be having 7 minus 7 by 7 minus 6. So, 7 minus 7 is 0. So, you will stop it here. And you will not include the next terms, right? Into, since 7 is or, so you will include 1, which remains the same. So, this equals to 1 by 3 into 7 minus 1 is 6. 6 by 7 into 7 minus 3 is 4. 7 minus 2 is 5. Again, 4 minus 2 is 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. See, you got 2 by 3. Now, this equals to. 3 3's are, 3 2's are 6. 2 4's are 8. 8 2's are 16. 
divided by 7 by 3. So 7 into 15 which is equals to 15 sevens. Sun pi is a 35. Sun one is a 7. Sun plus 3 is 10. So you will get 16 by 105 which is the answer. So therefore I7 which is integral 0 to pi by 6 cos for 7 3x equals to 16 by 1 or 5. So this completes the second problem. Next coming to third problem. Evaluate integral 0 to pi by 2 into sine power 4x into cos square x dx. Okay. So here you are having limit 0 to pi by 2. So no need to change limits. Okay. Solution. Let i equals to integral 0 to pi by 2 into sine power 4x into cos square x dx. Okay. So what we are going to do is we'll replace cos square x. Since you know that sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1, then to take this sine square theta to right hand side, you'll get cos square theta equals to 1 minus sin square theta. So now you will replace cos square x with 1 minus sin square x. So this becomes integral 0 to pi by 2 into sin power 4x into cos square x is replaced with 1 minus sin square x into dx. So this is equals to integral 0 to pi by 2. Now multiply this. Sin power 4x minus sin power 4 into sin square is sin power 6x into dx. Okay, now this equals to integral 0 to pi by 2 sine power 4x dx minus integral 0 to pi by 2 sine power 6x into dx. Okay, since integral 0 to pi by 2 sin power nx dx is equals to we are having two formulas, right? If you compare the powers of these two integrands with the actual formula, here you will get n equals to 4 and here you will get n equals to 6. Both are even. So which formula we are going to use here? The second one. So here we are going to include pi by 2. So this equals to n minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 by 4 into 4 minus 3 by 4 minus 2 and the next term will be 4 minus 5 by 4 minus 4, which is undefined, right? So, you have to neglect this. Now, what we are going to do? We are going to include pi by 2. Since n is even. Minus. 
since I need 6 here, so you will get 6 minus 1 by 6 into 6 minus 3 by 6 minus 2 into 6 minus 5 by 6 minus 4. The next term will be 6 minus 7 by 6 minus 6, which is undefined. Okay, so you have to neglect the remaining terms and you will stop it here. Since this is for even, so you will include pi by 2. So this is equals to 4 minus 1 is 3 by 4 into 4 minus 3 is 1. 4 minus 2 is 2 into pi by 2 minus 6 minus 1 is 5, 5 by 6 into 6 minus 3 is 3, 3 by 6 minus 2 is 4 into 6 minus 5 is 1, 1 divided by 6 minus 4 is 2 into 5 by 2. Okay. So you got 1 by 2, 1 by 2. So now you will take 5 by 2 common. In both the terms. So this becomes 5 by 2 into 3 by 4 to 8 minus 3 1 to 3 2 to 5. 5 by 2 4 to 8 8 to 16. So this equals to 5 by 2 into now take the LCM 4 6 sorry 8 and 16 16 LCM of 8 and 16. Take it if you want. 8 ones are 8. 8 ones are 8. 8 twos are 16. 16 is your LCM. Okay. So now with the numerator you will get 3 into 8 twos are 16, right? So into 2 minus 5. So this equals to 5 by 2 into 3 twos are 6. 6 minus 5 is 1. I equals to 5 by 2 into 6 minus 5 is 1 divided by 16. So this equals to 5 by 16 to 32. So therefore integral 0 to 5 by 2. Therefore, i equals to integral 0 from 0 to pi by 2 sin power 4x into cos square x dx equals to pi by 32. So, this completes the third problem. Right. So, we have done three problems in this video. Hope you will understand. If you have any doubts, just leave your comments below. See you in the next video. Until then.